Long ago, in a land you might remember from your dreams, the power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance. Epic tournaments in which their very lives would hang in the balance. And welcome to Lost in the Random and give me a second because it's apparently it would be better to be play on the controller, so be back. Okay, uh already a hit. Ooh, don't come. Get out of your energy. wielders and like all eras it too would come to an end fading into legend and mystery no no what who was it exactly our story begins later in one croft no. a small village Populated entirely by oh. people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Ooh. That looks Attention, Warners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my. Uh. Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. <coughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! It's the Queen! Hey! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! And you can tell that someone traveling in that. Odd, wait! Stay behind me, sis. We've got to run home and hide. Now! Any good int intentions? Okay.
Come on, let's get out of here. Why are they trying to capture you? Seems that the adults are left alone. Random rules! Random rules! That's Nanny Fortuna. Hmm? Works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice, which would reveal to them their place in the world of random. Check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. What? An old crawl space. Okay. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. For the Queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their knees, ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen. Plan for us is so grand joy that her one true dies has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring and joy. Yes, joy. Let me guess, the truth will even come back here. Never. Even oh. odd. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's mm. so cute. Make a wish. said every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice and so it was for random is fair random prevails and random rules be grateful child that the queen herself is here for your special day Now roll the dice and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. <gasps> it had been settled. <laughs> At least she'll be a sixer. Stop it. No, even and so, Fod's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen up in the Sixer's palace, where it was said all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning. Why didn't we roll the dice? That's a bit unfair. If you only knew how far up she was. Hold on, Odd. Odd, I'm I'm gonna find you, okay? Tell me where you are, Odd. Help me find you. Odd, I'm I'm here, sis. 
Well, it is leading us to something. I'm coming. Okay, yeah, everything's clear now I can understand everything. No. More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her. And in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But a portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas, and then drowned in the eighth. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive. But none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. An image of great, great, great grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Well, before then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. An image of great, great grandfather Peters. Two hundred years ago, he ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. Even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with Even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen, and she had eyes and ears everywhere. Odd shoes, little parts of her life still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by Ethan. She never wanted to forget her sister. Ethan's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. These paintings showed stories Ethan's mother told her was safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said, like the story of the cardmakers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. Mm -hmm. what, what happened to him? <laughs> Even's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. Oh, it was still very late. Or was it very early? And even didn't want to wake her parents. Okay, okay, I get it. I guess we'll have to sneak out. But actually, what do you say? What's the use of locking up that door if that's still wide open? The scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man. A mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who ventured too far from home. Even was too old to believe in such stories. Or at least, that's what she told herself. Hi, ghosty. stared at the toy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. 
But she had to go. She had to know. And since now I know there will be some collectibles. Uh, glowing figure we'll seemed to keep around. its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Oh, Mr. Miss? Oof. Either there, Sorry. even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Um, I'm on the trail of... I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. Oh, darling. You're thinking about your sister, aren't you? I feel you, child. I do. But she's been gone now a year. I need to get past you, Astrid. Please. Ah. That spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. Thank you. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? Thanks, you're the best. You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. We're definitely going to the outskirts, aren't we? Wait up, please! Wait up! This was Wongroff, the world in which even and her small family live. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Seems fair. That is, except even. Let's see, eh? Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. Who is? He's trying, Lucky. Oh shucks. Now I'm all out of potatoes. <laughs> no breakfast tomorrow, and you couldn't hit the spot. Oh, that's the way we bad. took. But it wasn't my. Oh, we were I hiding. I mean, you're the one who. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Uh, I snuck out. Honestly, uh. even, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Never thought you had it in you to break a precious rule. Don't be mean, Lucky. I'm not mean. That was a compliment. I think you're cool, even. Even if you should listen to your parents more. My parents say listening to them is the coolest thing of all. You guys are so touchy. What are you all doing here? We're playing... She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. I also... I couldn't also sleep. Late. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Lucky, don't be a jerk. Listen, even, it takes two to be a jerk. One to be the jerk, and the other to be an even bigger jerk by pointing it out. My sister became a sixer and I don't think it worked out. Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... He meant how come even things it didn't work out, Lucky? I think she might be sending me a message from Sixtopia somehow. <laughs> yeah, right. Like a Sixer would ever care about a one <laughs> Please. It could happen. You don't know. I think it sounds mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. Whoa, 
Not bad, Ooh. even. What? I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. Can do so. That was amazing, even. Hey, shut up. Oh, map. Okay, there's a tunnel. Mm -hmm. There's a map. Okay, I kind of like it. Um, there's something. Oh, hello, miss. You seem like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> um, a ghost. I think it sounds. No, I, I think he knows my sister. Ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall? And she's, she's official. She doesn't have really now, good eyesight you know. above There's the water. There's nothing any of us can do. Mm. That's what you think. That it is. That it is. But I didn't get this far by chasing after ghosts. And I recommend you do the same, even. Go on home. Your parents will be worried. Yeah, sure, thanks, of course. I will listen to you straight away. Okay, this seems to be blood, but maybe one day we'll be able to get back here. We have that. Yes, I'm already haunting for secrets. Yes, yes, I'm coming, I come, I'm coming. Yeah, uh, you saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Halt! None shall enter the docks tonight by order of Her Majesty. Uh, random rules. You can't be here, little girl. Can you let me to the harbor? I just want to harm my little girl. That's only more reason not to let a child in here. Why, I'd walk you home myself if I wasn't so busy guarding this area, as you can see. It's a very important job. Of course Now it is. run along, little girl. You shouldn't be here. Um, anything fun going on in the harbor tonight? Uh, the, the loading of junk onto boots. Clearly, all day long and all year long and all life long, there's only one thing that happens here. Junk gets loaded onto boats. There's definitely something else happening. Where does the junk go? It's Sorry, play, uh... that's classified. Uh, top secret, very royal. Yeah, let's be a very curious child. You don't know, do you? Ah! The very idea that the Queen would not share her ultimate secrets with me, a random one or security guard. No, 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 no. No, I assure you, I definitely know all the good stuff. I'm, uh, just not willing to share them. You can tell me. I'm just a little girl. Nobody will believe me. Ha! Ah, that may well be true, but that doesn't mean I should entrust the Queen's state secrets, which I assure you I'm definitely privy to with you now run along home it's past your bedtime yes i wonder whether we can mm -hmm. i thought i saw something i could destroy now mm. okay we can definitely go down there should we Well, I suppose it can hurt us. Wait. Okay, so I have to call it. Look. I might be getting a little bit better with aiming on the controller. Or it seems that way. Anything else? Oh, there's another, loop. another one. Oh! Play that with me. Yes, it would be the easiest. Do it from here, but why would I do it the easiest way? 
Oh, please don't lose focus like that because I don't know whether it's in the game or are my eyes going bad. Oh, more like worse than they already are. Whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Oh, I can see it. You seem like a shady type. Random rules, even. Random rules. Wow. What about me? So far from home. Not so far. And all alone. You're lucky the queen is looking out for you, child. You've heard the good news, haven't you? Really? No, I like me. The queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death. You just go along with her, because you know her rule is law. She is eternal. <laughs> That's good news. She's never wrong. She makes the rules, random rules, and they're always right. It's incredible. To live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me. Up riding a shining spider stallion. Notices my love for her. Notices my worship. Okay, and now I really do need to go. Oh no, no actually, no, that's quite the thing. They burn you this. You really love the queen, don't you? More than life. Although, you know, Stranger Than Jarwin rings. To be, her. <laughs> to be with her, I mean. To feel her hand on my head and know she judged me and found me good. It would completely destroy me. I'd love every minute of it. One town was unique. Some who lived here were kind, treating the queen with respect, and others seemed to have been broken by her in one way or another. But it was home, the only home even had ever known. Big city life. Oh. oh. Must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So two sided. You ever wonder what life's like in the other zone? Uh, like in. Uta no, well, let's go. For like in Sixtopia? Oh, it must be so wonderful there. Be recognized as the best of us. <laughs> Like in five tropolis. I hear everyone works so hard there. It's where the magical cards used to be made, you know. Like in Fulbrook? Before the war, it was a sight to behold. Now though, after the Queen ruined it trying to find those <coughs> awful rebels. Oh, it's so dreadful there. Like in Freedom? The glory of battle, yours for the taking. I could be a hero. Like into them? Big city life. Oh, must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So two sided. Mm. Why do you ask? I wasn't born here, you know. Really? I was born in Forber. Oh. What? Only I turned 12 and the queen came and made me rule. Call myself a one. Oh. She told me I was born in the wrong town, and now I'm here. And I'll never get back there again. I'm sorry. 
Now that's, that's just the way things are. In a way, she saved me from the misery of Forberg. It's not what it used to be. It doesn't have to be equal to be fair. It's what my mom always used to say. Before she... Before I... Well... It's, uh... Ancient history now. The Queen works in mysterious ways. And it's up to us to follow her rules. Random rules. I still remember how I felt rolling that dice. Knowing what was about to happen. And when it landed on one... Gosh! <sighs> I don't think it's the sort of thing I'll ever forget. Have you seen any ghosts? By the dice, I'm haunted enough already. I don't need more of them. See you around, kid. Yeah, sure. Not for long. Uh, I assume, I guess. Oh, really? Okay. I guess that's gonna be a good <laughs> place to end this part. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon when I try to drive my controller. Bye!